am, I come from Sweden and uh, back, back there is almost the same problem as here, as everywhere, that nothing is being done to, to stop the climate and the ecological crisis, despite all the beautiful words and promises. And we are now facing an existential crisis, the climate crisis and ecological crisis which have never been treated as crisis before. They have been ignored for decades. And for way too long, the politicians and the people in power have gotten away with not doing anything at all to fight the climate crisis and the ecological crisis. But we will make sure that they will not get away with it any longer. Humanity is now standing at a crossroads. We must now decide which path we want to take. How do we want the future living conditions for all species to be like? We have gathered here today and on many other places around London and, the, and across the world too. We have gathered today because we have chosen which path we want to take and now we are waiting for the others to follow our example. The new law of evolution in corporate America seems to be survival of the unfittest. Well, in my book, you either do it right or you get eliminated. In the last seven deals that I've been involved with, there were 2.5 million stockholders who have made a pre-tax profit of $12 billion. Thank you. I am not a destroyer of companies. I am a liberator of them. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Greed all of its forms. Greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge has marked upward surge of mankind and greed, you mark my words, will not only save Teldar paper, but that other malfunctioning corporation called the USA. Thank you very much.